Ah, here we are. Look at that, it's a beer bike. Paul Meek from uh, Kitchen Sippy Beer is here, and uh, that's not him on the mic. Nope. Oh, listen to the bell. Ding, ding. Safety ding, ding, first, beer is here. Bell. Look at this bike. It's think? incredible. Who's riding it? It's our friend Brad from Hi, uh, Brad. Tall Tree Cycles. Hi, Brad. Ah. Uh, yeah, Tall Tree Cycles. And is this custom made for uh, you guys? Brad can answer all that for you. Yeah, Brad? Uh, it is, in, in a way. So we used a platform that was already in existence. Yeah. And then we just heavily modified it to carry uh, carry the keg up front. Dude, there's uh, beer in it? That is so cool. Right out of the barrel. And uh, there's a keg inside, obviously. Look at this. Now, what's in the back? How does this work? Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> Brad? No, please. Oh, of course. Uh, listen, this is the greatest idea ever, Paul. How well, did the, how did the idea strike up? The tall trees just are all the cycles. We had talked to them. <laughs> One for the camera. They were, uh, they're a customer of ours, so we had shipped them some beer. They were doing a little party at the shop, and we had talked about possibly doing a, a keg delivery bike. Yes. Uh, and then we realized, you know what, with the hills going through Westboro and stuff like that, probably wasn't the most practical thing. And they came back to us and said, you know what, why not, a, you know, basically a bar on wheels? Yeah. So we, we, we it was the nice thing, we gave them free reign. So Will and Brad uh, went to town. That is and, great. And uh, we checked in every so often just purely for uh, the enjoyment of checking in. But yeah. it was just, they just, they went nuts and they had a blast. So we launched this last Wednesday, Brad, I think. Yeah, last yeah. Wednesday. Brad, How's it yeah. ride? That's good. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's, it's been heavy. It rides as you maybe think, but. Yeah. Yeah, now, but, uh, it's controllable for sure. Well, will, will you be able to go out and see this out in the community? Yep. So what we're doing is um, we will have it out in the community. We'll we're a little, use, we're a little we'll bouncy use that here. One. Yeah, we'll, exactly. we'll do this one. We'll, we'll have that. it out in the community, but we're not going to let it just go out on its own. Uh, okay. From a safety first situation, we want to make sure that you know there's always a Kitchen City employee with it. We also right. make sure there's somebody there to tell the story. Yeah. Uh, we always love our stories at Kitchen City, whether it's about the bike or about the beer or about our, our unique partnership we have with, with Tall Tree Cycles. Exactly. So for us, it's a great situation where, you know, it's gonna be out at Oyster Fest this weekend. We're gonna have it at the brewery for different events. Uh, right. You know, so things like that. So we had it, we launched it on the weekend in Stittsville. We had this uh, event at a new hockey arena in Stittsville. And people are having fun with it. So try the new Heller High Water. This is our beer we've got for spring. And it, it's called, I'm sorry. It's called Heller High Water. Heller High so Water. So Heller is a German word, which means brighter. Mm -hmm. Brad, a little toast? No, oh, please. Sorry, I should have waited. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, it's good. So this, this is this beer's out till mid-August. Okay. And then we've got a new uh, another beer coming out um, August 17th in time for the National Capital National Capital uh, Craft Beer Festival. Help me describe this. This By is, the way, cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Paul, cheers. In a moment, Ryan, you're working. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like if you were to enter some it's just a, t a little bit of citrus, I'm getting. I'm, I'm so go. what, what the way we describe this again, Heller. Um, means brighter. Yeah. German word for brighter. So this is a German pale lager. Nice, subtle, delicate notes. A little bit of hop, a little Christmas in there. Yeah. But for us, with the bicycle, you know, for working with the guys at Tall Trees, it was important for us to engage that active lifestyle community. So having a new beer for spring, summer, where we can, you know, a nice, easy drinking summer beer. Yeah, where we can nice. Hopefully, Good go out, yeah. you know, enjoy the trails, enjoy the city, go to some of these restaurants in the evening is yeah. the focus for the summer. Brad just says something I hear all the time when uh, people are drinking this. Uh, he just goes, "Good, eh?" Is that what people say? <laughs> they just look, they just have it, and they're like, so it's good, huh? Yeah, it is. Very it is. Easy. Yeah, it is. Very, very. And it, uh, you know, this is a marvel of engineering, this bike. Congratulations on it, by the way. Yeah, I, think it's I can fun. see there's some, uh, just even to operate the front wheels for turning, you've had to design something, uh, a, a system here, actually. And we'll have Ryan come around the other side here. And take a look, like, that's nice action on that, too. But yep. So did you, is this something, I know this platform sort of existed, but this is pretty awesome. Yeah, no, and this is the exact, the same platform that's been used for over 100 years. Okay. Same sort of steering linkage too, so it's, yeah. it's nothing that's uh, unusual. That's pretty great. I, I think that's awesome. So the inspiration here, Jeff, was to take a cargo bike that you'll see often in cities and stuff like yeah. that for taking shipments throughout the city, but modifying it to obviously, you know, instead of the, the front heaviness of cargo, you've got the front, the front weight being obviously the beer. What kind of wood is this? This thing is awesome. That's okay. Oak, straight yeah. oak, and it's it's really a bar top. Yeah. So but it is. It's it's a, it's a traveling bar. So yeah. we obviously see our nice partnerships with our with our uh, friends at Tall Tree Cycles. The glass are in the back. I, my favorite part is the CO2 tanks yeah. set up to look like little jet packs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you could have one or two, and it yeah. depends on how big a keg your uh, track. Uh, we can. Yeah, we've got a 30 there today. We can hold a 50 to your keg, <laughs> fill it up with ice, and you're all good to go. Yeah, it keeps you in good shape riding that around. It I will, imagine. For yeah. sure it will. Yeah. So um, when people see this around, they can just walk up and uh, and uh, you'll have it parked somewhere. That's obviously. Us, yeah, it's always going to be a destination. So the right. really great thing for us 
Um, again, Tall Trees was on Twitter, we're on Twitter. Last Friday when we launched it online, yeah. uh, we were the number one trending topic in the city of Ottawa. We were out, out trending Bill C-38 yeah. and out trending Ottawa politics. People know that it's about fun, it's about an experience. Yeah. And yeah, you'll see the different events. If you want it for a private function, uh, talk to us at the brewery, we can definitely make arrangements, but there'll always be a get your city person or tall tree person along with it. Yes, uh, so that's always nice. A great promotional, just a little tweak to whatever you're doing in a live uh, event kind of a situation. Yeah, it's about a memorable experience, yeah. right? Of course. Yeah, so and The beer bike was there. Of exactly. course, people will always exactly. say that. Paul from Kitchissippi, Brad from Tall Tree, thank you both for coming by with the beer bike, my favorite invention, hands down. <laughs>